Welcome everyone to another one here on the Mateo Franco DC channel, formerly known as the Teo TV. We did a rebrand. Uh, we have lots of my patients searching for me, friends, family, all these new connections that I'm making and they're searching my name and weren't being able to find me. So we rebranded it to my name, um, which someone already had that. So then I added the DC at the end, which stands for doctor of chiropractic, which that's what I do as a profession on top of many other things um, as an entrepreneur and business owner. But in this video, we are going to focus on, do you like how I did that? The, <laughs> actually looked really cool. Uh, the Flux Footwear Adapt Trail Runner. Did they accidentally make a golf shoe in the process of making this trail runner? That's what we're going to cover in today's video. If you guys haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll go over why I partner with Flux Footwear, why I believe they're one of the best shoes out there if you're looking for healthy shoes. And I'll cover in this video too, what makes them healthy. Big things first before we uh, go into some of the health things. So I want to show you why I think that's going to be a great golf shoe. If we look at the studding. I'm going to call them studs. Kind of reminds me of like if you played soccer or football, like kind of like turf bottoms, maybe. But you can see that, which I think they're going to do so great. Uh, we're getting a lot of rain here. But if you guys want to see the video of me actually using these on the golf course, make sure you leave a comment like below and definitely make sure you subscribe. That way you don't miss that video. So I'm definitely going to do that. And I'll do a separate video of ranking my favorite Flux uh, shoes from their lineup of which ones I like in order of my favorites to least favorites for what reasons. That way I can kind of help you guide which one's going to be the best for you. But that's why I think these are going to be great. I've been looking for a natural golf shoe. Big things that make it natural is going to be a wide toe box and a zero, zero drop like this. And I'll explain why there's less cushioning here, but I'll explain the differences in those two. But that's what, if you can, if you're taking notes, zero drop, meaning it's a level front to back. You can take a ruler at home, tape measure, measure your shoes front to back. If there's a small uh, incline on the back, that's going to make a huge difference over the time that you use those shoes, causes lots of health problems. I look at hundreds of thousands of x-rays every single year, and we see it over and over again. Shoes are a big contributor to those problems. So um, white toe box, zero drop, level front to back. And I'll go over why the runners are a little bit different. Um, there's an exception to that rule for specifics, um, but I'll go over that here in a second. But I've been wearing the Vivo Barefoot Trail Runners. They look a little bit goofier. That's why I love Flux is they actually make them look sexy too. So I like the colors. I like the style. But the Barefoot Shoes, I transitioned away from, I was wearing, I don't even know what they are, but they're like Pumas. But if you look at golf shoes, their toe box is so narrow, which makes zero sense for me with how much torque comes through the pelvis when you're driving, when you're hitting shots. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. So anyways, I'm going to cover why I switched to these, well, specifically the Vivo barefoot shoes and why I'm going to test these out too. So the Vivo ones have worked really good. Sometimes I will slip in those. I don't think they have as big of studding. The other thing with them is they don't have ankle support. So it's a low top shoe. So that's why I was so stoked when I saw these come out, um, mainly because I liked how they look and just doing trail running. And then I got these in person. I'm like, holy cow, these have like, this would be sick as a golf shoe. Like I could probably golf in this. And so let's cover what makes it healthy. And then again, if you guys are just here to see the golf part, uh, wait for that next video to come out. We're going to try it. It's, it's raining a lot here in Lexington and it's just March here too. So I know tomorrow's supposed to be a gorgeous day. So we might get out there tomorrow. We're trying to get a good day so I can give you good feedback on them. Anyways, let's look at the zero drop. You can see that it, there's a little bit of less cushioning on the front side. That's for a runner because we want to hit that four foot. But you can see relatively the shoe from here to here is zero drop. So the only difference would be a runner because we want to roll onto that four, four foot. And for golf, I think it's going to be sweet to give us a little bit more control up here by those toes. The wide toe box, and I'll show you what a true zero, before I go into that, is true zero drop looks like this. This their adapt low top. It's more of a casual shoe. In my opinion, people wear it at the gym. Um, but for me, I like it as a casual shoe. And so this is zero drop front to back. So for us being on concrete, we want cushioning. We just need it to be level front to back. Okay, and I'm going to explain why that's important. There are barefoot shoes. But the difference between a zero drop and a barefoot is they have like that much between you and the ground as a barefoot shoe. And that's great if you're going to be on planet Earth and those things. It does take time to adapt into those. Um, I ordered a pair of barefoot shoes and thought I would go run on concrete. I ran two miles and felt like I shredded everything on the back. So some of these shoes, even a zero drop barefoot shoes, they take a transition period. So I always start people, our patients on 15 minutes. Just try them on for 15 minutes a day. And then wear them around, see how your body responds the next day, and then do it again the next day, and then do that for about a week. And then if your body's feeling okay, then jump up to 30 minutes or 45 minutes, and then slowly increase until you fully transition in. Some people can fully transition into them too. So I just like to give people a heads up that it's kind of like when you walk on the beach, right? 
is you're outside of your typical shoes and you fire different muscles that have been underdeveloped because of our shoes. And now you feel all sorts of soreness in those things, which is a good thing because you're redeveloping those muscles, tendons, and ligaments. It also is going to bring your arch up, all of those things. So there's tons of studies out there on that. If you guys want to look for that, just go to like Vivo Barefoot's got a ton of them. Flex Footwear, they're starting to get their data out there too. Um, but there's all the data is out there. And so that's the thing is I always say it's like a back brace, right? If you put on a back brace, right, you're going to do okay. You're going to feel fine, but you're going to be dependent on that back brace the rest of your life because you're underdeveloping the muscles that are there to support your spine. Same thing we do with our shoes. Our shoes are caging our feet and they're underdeveloping crucial muscles for us. And that's why when we go to walk barefoot or we walk on the beach, we feel sore the next day. So without going too far into that, uh, let's go into what makes it healthy, the zero drop again. So why a zero drop is important. As a chiropractor, I look at hundreds of thousands of x-rays. So I look at tons of joints in the body every single day. So my key thing is key contributors. How do we get results faster? We do motion x-ray studies. That's the gold standard. And then we also do progress x-rays. I don't want to guess and say, hey, you feel good. I think you're doing good. Like, no, we're going to know. We want you feeling good. And we want to make sure that there's going to be no pitfalls down the road as well. Right? So important note for us, just a quick nerd out is 15% of the nerves that exit your spine are based off what you feel. The other 85% is based off of function, right? So that's why we look at x-rays. We can catch problems before they arise, make sure that your body's healthy, regenerating faster than it's degenerating. And I always say the, the, the saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So we see it all the time. So a lot of people don't know that they have problems. We look at x-rays and then we get them fixed before they become problems. But one of the big things was the shoes that we could fix things. People always want to know, well, how can I get results faster? How can I prevent this in the future? How can I prevent it for my kids? Shoes was a big one, getting a zero drop. Even if you have like an inch elevation, uh, like people are talking about, Hey dudes, right? An inch elevation, right? You compound that by how many times you're wearing that every single day, right? It adds up. It causes this thing called hyperlordosis, which basically compresses the disc on the backside, pushes them into your spinal cord, spinal nerves, but also it changes the line of gravity through your body, putting more stress on your hip joints, your knee joints, all the way down to your feet. So that is why zero drop or barefoot. That's why we, that's why we partnered with them. Cause it's the easiest thing you can do. I always tell people bad news is you got to get rid of some of your old shoes. Good news is you get to go shoe shopping. And the other thing, if you're a heels person or a cowboy boots person, I always tell people, I still have some shoes that have heel in it. I just don't wear them a lot, right? When I'm going out to like a concert or something like that, then I'll wear them. But the majority of the time, I'm going to be in healthy shoes. So it's just changing that. doesn't mean you have to get rid of all of them. So key things again, zero drop front to back. If it's like a runner, you want to have a little bit less cushion on the front so you can hit that roll or that spring in your step as you roll into that forefoot. We don't want it back further than that because that's just not proper running mechanics uh, for how we're naturally designed to run. We want that up here um, by the forefoot. So other big things, the wide toe box. If you think about it, and this is why I'm excited for it as a golfer too, is if you look at a baby, their feet spread out, their big toe spreads out. And then we cream our feet into like, some of these shoes are ridiculous. I don't even have a shoe to demonstrate it, but it's crazy of how pointed those shoes become, right? We're just jamming our toes in there, which blows my mind still of why we do that. And so what happens that can cause bunions over time. What happens, and you'll see this people's gait, right? Their hips, um, they'll have to flare out. And then you see that with their tibia or their knees, their femur, tibia, fibula, their knees start to turn out and then their feet turn out and then bunions form as well. So a wide toe box. So if we have a wide toe box and we start doing that and there's spacers that you can get if you're starting to form some of those problems that can help with that. And then obviously bias, but come get x-rays, go to a chiropractor so you can accelerate that process faster and prevent problems from down the road. Make sure they do x-rays. That's top priority. And so anyways, with that being said, is having a wide toe box, now your feet spread out. So now your big muscles, right, from your quads to your hamstrings, all the way up to the glutes and the low back muscles are now more focused on performance than they are just purely stability, right? Because your feet have spread out. If you look at like a goat, a horse, like we're in the horse capital of the world, they don't have giant legs, but those tendons are so strong and they're very balanced and coordinated fibers, right? It's the tendon strength in those areas. And then as they get up towards the glutes or the hindquarters and the low back, those muscles are massive, but mainly based on performance. So that's why getting the wide toe box is crucial. Um, I had a guy, this is just a story. I had a guy that switched into, and I don't know the brand of the shoe, but it was a wide toe box. He does a lot of like uh, CrossFit and Olympic lifting. He switched into a wide toe box lifter and hit PRs for two weeks straight. I'm not sure if it was purely based off of that, 
but there is something to it. I always say we are the science, so we might as well buy things, test things for ourselves to see how we perform. Research uh, our own experience. Oh, wrong one. Research our own experience. Uh, right. That's why I always say we are the science, right? There's never been studies. We look at all this peer review and all that, but those studies haven't been done on us. Right. And so let's do our own research. And for me, I find that that's a much more rewarding life. There's certain certain things that, right, will, will be common core pillars like, hey, don't eat rat poison. Like, right, let's not do that. But there's other things that may work for someone else that doesn't work for us, that may not work for someone else, but actually works for us. And so we're all unique in our own way. Uh, but this is why I partner with health partners things that are going to make our life better and easy things to do, like buying healthy shoes, but also why I'm so stoked for it to, as a golfer is getting that wide toe box and seeing if we can really get more performance out of those low backs, the hips, and really see if we can increase performance in our golf game and hopefully drop a few strokes off. I don't know about y'all. Um, y'all might golf more than me, uh, but hopefully this year I'll be out there a little bit more consistent, take some lessons and become a lot more consistent. And I hope I will be rocking these. But I'll see you on the next video again. If you guys haven't liked or subscribed or you know someone that would benefit from this, go ahead and share the video with them or you know they're going to want to see one of our future videos of me either golfing in these, ranking these, my favorite Flux footwear shoes from top to bottom. Um, if you know someone that's going to benefit from that, go ahead and, and tag them or just send the video to them. We appreciate you all. And just some notes to um, Flux, as a Flux ambassador, why we partner with them. So what you do is irrelevant to me. I'm here to create the content that I enjoy creating, helping people live a healthier, happier lifestyle. Uh, obviously I'm biased towards these shoes, but always be honest with you and give you my experience. But as an ambassador of Flux Footwear and also having different tiers inside of that is now we have a 15% off code. So that's exciting. And big thanks to y'all. Y'all have helped us hit um, different numbers, which just means that these videos are helping people get into Flux Footwear. The feedback that we've got, I pass along to them as well. So it's all of us winning together, which I always say business done correctly as we all can win in that process. And so I'm just very grateful for y'all and just want to encourage us to continue to, if you know people that benefit from these shoes or are you continuing to share the message or your experience of Flux Footwear um, in the comments or wherever is going to help us. And as we get new discount codes, new perks and things like that. Uh, one of the things that I want to do through these channels is also do some free giveaways. I'm still trying to figure out the logistics for that um, and how that makes sense, especially with the, the sizing and stuff. So we're trying to create sizing, um, but everyone's feet fit a little bit different. So if someone has to return it or something like that, but anyways, not going too far into that. Um, I just appreciate you all. And hopefully we can continue to get more people in Flux Footwear, healthy shoes, helping people live a healthier, happier lifestyle. And we get rewarded for that in the process. But I'll see you on the next video on here on the channel, Matteo Franco DC.